Dice is on the beat. welcome back to my channel my name is Sonia so if you are here for the first time please subscribe below and turn on the clock click on the clock for the notifications so you won't miss any more videos from me so today's video is part two of my catfish story for the ones who are here and you haven't watched part one please stop this video go back to my channel and watch part one before watching part two because otherwise it's gonna be such a spoiler video and i don't want to spoil you for the other ones who have already watched part one let's continue this crazy story um to summarize the last video i told you how i got catfished from this fake account dominic santiago and how we found out that in reality dominic was mustafa one of his friends that we met in uh, Düsseldorf and Neuss and who threatened me with a gun. I hope you remember Nadia. Nadia was the girl who was with him in a relationship. Um, like I said, she found it out. She saw the MySpace of the real one, the real Dominic who lives in the States and heard his voice and she sent it to me and we spoke to him and he told us that in reality he was Mustafa. My first reaction was that I was so shocked. I was shocked. Of course, there, there have been some signs, like all oh, some pictures when he was in the States, but he told us that he has family there. He couldn't Skype because of his computer, whatever. But I mean, back in the days, it was a bit difficult with webcams and stuff. So we were like, okay. And um, of course, it was weird that he was canceling all the time, but he had so much content on his page, like so much content. Like every time when Nadia would tell him to wear something in purple, he would upload a picture on Facebook wearing something in purple. When she tells him to wear something in green, he would wear something in green and upload a picture. And the reason was that the real Dominic from the States, he had so many pictures on his page. So it was so easy to get all these pictures and to pretend to be him. And um, I was also very shocked because I was like, you threatened me with a gun, the person you were calling sister and a friend. And he apologized. He was like, yeah, uh, you know I am, because he was very aggressive and a bit old school. So he was like, yeah, you were so disrespectful to me on the phone and I couldn't handle myself. Like I was so aggressive in this moment and that's why I did that and I apologize. I asked him, I was like, why didn't you tell me the truth? Because I don't choose my friends by their appearance. I don't like I don't care how somebody looks like I don't choose my friends like this I choose my friends the way their behavior their character a free link that's what I look for so I was like I don't care if you are tall or small if you are thick or thin if you are whatever I wouldn't care like I liked you as a person so you should have told me the truth somehow and he was like yeah I didn't know how to tell you the truth because it started like a bet and then he got so deep inside and met real people that he liked and he didn't know how to tell us. He didn't know how to tell Nadia because he felt really in love with her and yeah, so this was his explanation. It took me some time but I apologized to him. We were still in contact but not really like before and um, Nadia and me, we both told him to delete this fake account because it was just disrespectful and not good for all the people that he lied to and hurt. Yeah, after a time, he was like trying, still trying to get Nadia and she was like, okay, I'm gonna meet up with him because I fell in love with the person, with his character and not his appearance, even though he wasn't this half black Latino tattered guy in reality. And I was a bit skeptical. I was like, are you sure you wanna meet him and stuff like that? Because a person who lied to you for such a long period how can you trust me in him? Because I didn't even know if his auntie really died the day when we went there when he said that his auntie died and couldn't see us. Was it the truth? I don't know. But um, she wanted to give him a chance and she wanted to meet him. 
so she went there with her i think best male friend if i remember and um from now on i'm gonna tell you the story from what i know from her side because i wasn't there but i hope that i remembered everything right she met him and she asked him some questions and she told me something was weird like he didn't really like remember a lot of stuff she told him and she found just like also with the voice something was different but at the beginning she was like okay you know you spoke to the person on the phone like it's something different to see someone in real life how he's acting how he's speaking and stuff like that and then she said that he was trying to get to her physically like trying to touch her you know trying to do some stuff and she found it a bit weird because she was like we've been in a fake relationship for nine months and all, we were only talking and now that i found out the truth and it's now it's time to talk and to get to know each other for real you are trying to hit me like what's wrong with you at the same time i remember that um, i was about to throw a housewarming party because i moved into my first apartment with my friend and i invited both of them and i also invited my friend sandy and i told my friend sandy the truth i told her that in reality dominic santiago was mustafa because i wanted her to know the truth to know that this three months she was speaking to this guy that he was fake but sandy by mistake um she was talking to natya on facebook she was like yeah by the way sonia told me that dominic was a fake account blah 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 so um natya told dominic and Dominic got mad. He called me and he threatened me and he was like, yeah, um, I should tell it to nobody. And he already deleted the account and who do I, I think I am to tell the story. And I was like, my friend deserves to know the truth. So I told her and he was like, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna kill you, whatever. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna come to your apartment, etc., etc." And I was like, okay, I don't care. And that's how I wasn't in contact anymore with Nadia and I wasn't in contact anymore with Mustafa. Like I continued with my life and we weren't speaking anymore. And then months later, Nadia contacted me via Facebook and she was like, Sonia, we went through so much um, because of this guy, Dominic, because of this fake account. And uh, I just feel like you deserve the truth. You deserve to know who was really behind this fake account because it wasn't Mustafa. And I was like, hey, what do you mean it wasn't Mustafa? Like, and then, now guys, I hope you have your popcorn ready, your snacks, because you will never believe what I'm going to tell you right now. She told me that she found out that in reality, Dominic wasn't Mustafa, and behind this fake account was someone else. And the person was... Can you guess it? It was Ezra, the girl. I hope you remember the girl that I told you. The day when we went there to see them, they came three persons. Mustafa, Ezra, the Turkish-German rapper who wanted to do with me a feature, and a young boy, 16 years old or something. And she found out that in reality, behind this fake account was Ezra, the girl. She's a lesbian and she was texting all these girls and doing all this stuff. And I was so shocked. Like, I couldn't believe it. I felt like in this MTV TV show, Catfish. I don't know if you know this show, but that's what happened to us. Like, Catfish 200,000 times. I can't, I don't know how to explain it. So in reality, it was a girl behind this account. So to all my German girls who've been texting to this fake guy, Dominic, like Dominic was never a man, it was a girl. And I know some people are gonna say, you should have heard it when you heard the voice, but we didn't because she has such a deep voice that you would really think that it's a boy, it's a guy. So like I said, she started to meet uh, Mustafa because she was willing to give him a chance. And she realized that when she was asking him some things or speaking to him about some stuff, he didn't remember the stuff she told her. He was confused, he didn't remember, and she just felt like something is wrong here. And how did she find out the truth? 
she um, had his passwords from his social media accounts, also from Facebook and stuff, and for his emails. And she started doing some research. She also had her um, passwords and everything, so they exchanged. And she started to do some research, and on her research, she found some old emails like what he's been texting some girls, nudes that girls sent him, some girls that she knew from her town who've been texting him and sending him nudes. Um, then she saw, found an email from a girl that she knew who was also in contact with him, who also sent him some nudes, unfortunately. And she contacted this girl and asked her, um, I feel like something is weird with this Mustafa because I'm in contact with him too. And this girl was like, yeah, I can't tell you the truth, but just know that there's something happening. Something is wrong. And she was like, why don't you tell me the truth? Like, we are both women, so if you know something, tell me the truth. But the girl didn't want to. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she felt ashamed because of her pictures she sent him or whatever, but she didn't tell her the truth. And then, Nadia started arguing with Mustafa, and she was like, something is wrong here. Why are you lying to me? Tell me the truth, whatever. You know, she was putting some pressure on him. At the end, he was like, it's not my fault. I'm not the person behind this. I'm not the person who's texting all these girls. It's not me. And she was like, what? What do you mean by it's not you? And when he told her, he was like, it's not me. It's uh, Ezra. She's behind this. And like every time when someone finds out that she's a fake account, she's a catfish, she sends Mustafa to play her. Like, oh yeah, it's me behind your account, I'm sorry, and stuff like that. But it wasn't Mustafa, it was Ezra. I repeat, it was Ezra. So, you have to imagine, she started thinking, she started realizing, like today when we went there, how Ezra apologized to us. Or when I was out of gas and we were on the highway, how she came because Nadia wasn't feeling that good. She was talking to Nadia. But I remember she was like all the time like looking away and speaking very slow so we couldn't really hear her voice. And we also remember that when we were trying to call Dominic and he didn't pick up and his friends called us, that we heard his voice in the background. It was her. It was her all the time. And I don't know what's wrong with her or why she can't like link with people normally. Maybe it's because she's Muslim, maybe, I don't know, but she's the one behind this. So the story is still not over guys, it's still not over. When she found out this out for Nadia was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done with this bullshit, I'm out. So she stopped completely the contact and she told me the, the true story. You have to know that First she thought it was Dominic, then she found out it was Mustafa and she still thought that this person really liked her because um, Dominic was sending her money, 200 euros, paying her phone bills, sending her gifts to her birthday. Like it wasn't just like a catfish, like a catfish in a way that I don't give a fuck about you. It was a catfish like you mean something to me, but I'm a catfish. <laughs> and um, she found out the truth and she was really confused. She um, also asked Mustafa why he does that with her. Why do he does he help her? Because that means he's as much sick as she is, you know. And he was like, yeah, he doesn't know. And the thing is that when he started to get to know Nadia, he also felt in love with Nadia. So that that's why why he kept playing this relationship to her, or trying to get her because he also started liking her. So him and um, Ezra were even like. Um, split up, they weren't friends anymore because of Nadia, because we both felt in love with Nadia. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, and then Nadia decided, she was like, okay, I'm done with this bullshit, I'm really done with that, I don't want to do anything with them anymore. After a certain time, she even changed her number because she told me that um, Ezra was still like calling her, checking her, when she found out that Nadia was dating other guys, she was getting mad and stuff like that. And then one day she saw a profile which was a bit similar to Dominic Santiago. Same thing, like Latino, half black, uh, converted to Islam, Muslim, 
um, the same gang around him, the same friends around him. And she was like, something is wrong here. And when she saw that the new account, his name was Derek, he was in a relationship with a German influencer. So she contacted this girl and we spoke on the phone and she was like, girl, I know this person, it's a catfish. Have you ever met him? And she was like, yeah, I met him in a hotel. And she was like, you really met him in a hotel? And the girl said, that's creepy guys. Yeah, she didn't really meet, meet him, but she met his friends, a Turkish guy and a Turkish girl in the hotel room. So that's how where it gets dangerous guys, because this girl was in a relationship with a new fake account named Derek. Derek told her to go to a hotel, didn't show up, sent his friends. So it means the same thing which happens to us. And she was in the hotel room with Mustafa and with Ezra. And she said that when Mustafa tried to hit her, tried to touch her and stuff like that. And that's the moment when she left. And I mean, how crazy is this? And then um, Natya contacted Mustafa again and she was like, you are still doing this shit. She even, she told me she even went to the police. She was like, you're still doing this shit with girls, with young, innocent, and naive girls. Stop that. And, um... She told this girl the truth and this girl, she was a bit, what do I say? She was very sensitive. It's like the girl even tried to suicide. She tried to kill herself because of this fake account because she couldn't handle it, that it was, it was fake. So this story, it's a true story. It's so crazy. And that's how Nadia found out that Dominic wasn't Mustafa, he was Ezra and that it was something we were doing regularly. We were playing with so many girls. And she even told me like two years ago, she found his the same name with the same pictures on Instagram. And she said that every time she finally found a, a new um, fake account, she was like texting them and putting some pressure. So we would delete it. And I also remember that a few years ago, I found it again on Facebook. So girls, everyone, who has been in contact with this person will know who I mean when I say Dominic Santiago and how I describe it him. So just be careful for the future and now you know who is behind this. And yeah, so that's my story. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it somehow. I mean, after so many years, I can laugh about it. But back in the days, I felt so ashamed that I was that stupid. But I mean, I was young. And if you aren't a person who does something like this to other person, you can even imagine. You can't imagine that someone is capable to play a complete person the whole day. Like from the morning, 24-7, playing someone else. I can't imagine this. But there are people, there are crazy and sick people outside there who do that. This was my story. If you want to hear some more stories from me, let me know because I have so many crazy stories in my life. I'm full of stories. Um, I could do some more story times. And I just hope that you enjoyed it. Besides of this, just be careful, stay healthy in this coronavirus times. Protect yourself. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up if you liked it. And also click on the clock so you won't miss any notifications when I put my next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye. Guys, it's on the beat.